Definitely. After many years of denying this game's existence, when I think it came out back in 2014, you didn't want to, anything to do with it. Uh, mainly because Michael Ironside was not Sam Fisher anymore. And he was instead replaced by, uh, what was the name? Eric something. Um, the guy from Smallville. And I'm sure he did a great job. You know, like, I'm, I'm not trying to knock him. Eric Johnson. Um, but he just wasn't, uh, wasn't the guy. Um, he's not Sam Fisher. So it was just a, it was a thing where there was just too much going on. So, you know, it was just the roles, the shoes are too big. And you couldn't do it. So I just was like, you know what? Let me pretend this game does not exist. So, but since I've gone through and I've been, uh, Playing through, revisiting all the old Splinter Cells. Uh, I've gone through five games so far. Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory, Double Agent. I just completed Conviction last night. And now I'm going to start Blacklist. You know, what better time than now to, uh, to give this a whirl? So, let me uh, give, it a, give it a shot and see what happens. <clears throat> Again, I, I don't really know what this game is. I, I've heard great things, but I also don't know what to expect. So, this is uh, going to be totally new to me. I have heard that this does run fairly well for a PC port. It's actually a you know modern-ish game, so. That's good. Shows up on the screen. So that's good. I did run very briefly through an intro um, to get to the options menu. I tweaked a few settings. I don't know how it's going to run. Um, so this is kind of like a benchmark right now, blind benchmark to see how the game will run. Um, I did hear something about the game running oddly if you have a high refresh rate. So I'm running it at 144 hertz. So I don't know. Apparently there are potentially some glitches that may come about. So but yeah, this is totally brand new to me. I've never played Lurso Blacklist before. Out of stubbornness. So it's going to be very hard um, to not hear Michael Ironside. I'm going to try my best to hear it in my head because I've. He is Sam Fisher to me. Like, there is no other person in the world that could ever do that role justice. But before I start, let me just post this to my socials here. So yeah, never played Blacklist. I've heard great things. Um, I heard that, obviously, in comparison to Conviction, it uh, is a return to form, so to speak. It's just unfortunate that uh, Michael Ironside was not around to do this. But it is what it is. So let me just tweet this out. Let me uh, get this going. We will hunt 
knocked every single one of you sons of bitches down! You think America can't find you? No need, General. We're coming to America. That voice is the guy from 24. <clears throat> the bald guy, the IT guy. Anderson Air Force Base. Okay, so this is using Conviction-esque things already. Contract says no weapons. Not on this kind of op. Who needs to know? Oh my god. That's Eric Johnson. Right. This might make you feel better. Little souvenir I picked up in Indonesia. Oh man. Thanks, Vic, but if I need a karambit for aerial recon, we've got bigger problems. Can't hurt. Oh, that's so Where's weird. With that, that is so weird. Sorry, just putting the finishing bits of awesome on this puppy. Signal skips base combo completely. What for? Keeps the DOD types from backseat driving. That's why you're here, kid. That IT guy was at the show Suits. I remember him. <clears throat> Let's move. Uploading. We're in. Teams, this is King. We are go. Pawn says go. Bishop says go. Knight says go. Rook is go. Queen says go. Anything else, Chief? Uh, so these guys are blowing up the Air Force yeah, base. Still single, right? No, that's. I'm gonna take that as a no. Stop hacking base IT. We're guests here. Yeah, but they make it so easy. Why does Sam Fisher look like uh, Commander Shepard from Mass Effect? Video's up. Engaging two hostiles. I've got it. Site F encryption keys. Forty days until expiration. And he looks younger too. Let's go. Bishop's been hit. Jam everything and move out. The blacklist is live. Now. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off. Do you copy? Radio up. Radio's working fine. Anderson Tower, this is Paladin 02 requesting permission to lift off from Chopper Pad Alpha Niner. Well, we're behind. Fuck the protocol. Need to make it back in time from a gallons Texas Hold'em game? How do you think I'm paying for the chopper? <sighs> Leave him. Bravo team, report. Bravo, let's go. Move in. So it's about to go boom. Right in that tower, I'm sure. Yep. Holy shit! Mayday, 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 Paladin Zero Two, we're going down. Hang on. All right, now we're going to get gameplay. Okay. We make the base just outside the perimeter. Take a light. We're a big target out here. Uh, Vic, give me a hand. I'm stuck. Charlie Sackfeld. Yeah. Holy shit. You guys okay? What the fuck is happening? Chopper's down. We're fine. Munitions depot must have been hit. Where are you? Hiding under a truck with my laptop? Listen, guys, all the radio channels are down. It's got to be an RF jammer. There's a signal northwest of you. All right, you sit tight. We'll find the jammer. Come on. Yeah, I'll bet those sons of bitches are using one of our jammers. 
<clears throat> Makes you say that. That's what I do. Uh, eyes open, Sam. Is this supposed to be Victor Cost? Alright, here we go. Gameplay. I'm injured. Alright, so now it's it's just like Conviction where it pans the camera towards my objective. This Sam really does look like Commander Shepard though, that's not even a joke. CIA intel suggests terrorist activity in Guam. Shadow, and I don't know what Shadow Net is. So, get 10 more loud headshots. I guess it's some type of pointing schema. So, this is the intro called Black Lazero. Alright, settings. Display subtitles. I want that on. Yeah. Uh. Difficulty normal, that's fine. Audio. Okay, Sam, what we're gonna do here is some basic directional sound manipulation. What do you need me to do? First, I'm gonna push everything over to the left speaker. You hear that? I hear it. Now let's take it back over to the right. Can you hear that now? Yes. Like, how much more do you need? No, actually, we, you know, we're done. Thanks for the assist, Sam. You're welcome. I think. Okay, cool. For whatever reason, it defaulted to 5.1. I'm gonna switch it to headphones. Um, let's find video settings. Gamma calibration is fine. Okay. So it wants me to go this way. Guys behind us are pros. We're not even packing sidearms. Drainage just will give us some cover. So the camera gets uh, rain on it. It's interesting. Jesus, that's not more than fire. Sounded like Katusha's. He's right there. I'm on it. Okay. Lights in your gear flare when you are in shadow. Okay, but of course no one's gonna see me. Oh. Somebody there. He's about to get shot. It is Victor Cost. I knew it. So Victor Cost lost a lot of weight. Quick, give me a boost up. When you stay out of the light, the enemy has difficulty seeing you. Can I grab his weapons? Nope. You drop down, space climb up. Alright, so it's gonna want me to go to cover. Team Anderson, Anderson Air Force Base, Guam. So this is like conviction in a way. Yeah. Get the camera going. Bravo company just back to corporal. They're bringing him down now. Good. Because this one won't last much longer. Let's get that camera going. Yeah, just give me a... Yeah, yeah you're ready. Hold on. Down Hold the camera. This guy looks He's dead already. Okay. I want to try to go for non-lethal. Hey. He's bleeding out. But he's 
It's not going anywhere if they're blocking Karma. I'll stabilize him. You take out the jammer. All right, Vic. Good luck. Okay. I gotta move from cover to cover here. Running U.S. military facility restricted area, it is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the something commander. Section 21 internal security photography prohibited is unlawful or any for photograph, film, map, sketch, picture, something, graphic representation of the area or equipment at or flying near the installation. Section 21, Internal Security Act of 1958, USC 797, Use of Force Authorized. Always prevail, Team Anderson. This is where I just was. Alright, so it is, it is like Conviction where it has things in projecting. It's projecting elements of the HUD onto the game. Overall, the game's running smooth, smoother than I thought. I'm in the hundreds right now. I'm actually impressed with that. Reach the jammer, stay out of the light, move from cover to cover. Can you hide bodies here, though? I'm not sure if you can. This one I'm not, I'm not sure about. I need to time it, so... When the light flickers off, I move. Thank you. 
So it says I can mark people. I could try going this way. Try going this route. These guys are distracted. How did he hear me? What the hell? That makes no sense. Is there a way to slow your movement speed? Okay, I need to hit Caps key. All right. They've got a spawn. Ah, uh, Lee. That's just what I do. Don't the flames on the missiles. They can fight it all, but they can die like anyone else. This is the way they taught me in Mirawa. Your instructor should be shot. Remove for maximum damage. No previous special effects. All right, as soon as you win. Bypass these guys. I hope they don't see me, but I have no idea. Got a notification. I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, it says I have five viewers. What's up? I didn't get a uh, pop up on my screen. Interestingly enough, sorry. Let me uh, take a look here. Oh, Junker Seed, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Junker Seed 89, thank you. Very, very kind of you. I'm not sure why the notification didn't pop up, unless it's, uh, it could be delayed. Because that does happen sometimes. But thank you, yeah, this is my very first time playing Splinter Cell Blacklist. I have not played it before. This is brand new to me. So thank you. So let me go back to the game here. Do you know what the game? 
switched to uh, windowed mode. I don't know why. Why did it do that? That's a little annoying. Let me just see if it affects the uh, stream here. It doesn't look like it does. All right. Gotta watch out for this dude. So it looks like I need to do it while he's distracted doing that. That's my cue to move. So I need to wait for him to cycle his animation again. Offline, Vic. You can't stop the blacklist. Grenade! Oh shit. Oh shit, that's grim. Word of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military FMVs. On the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the blacklist. The blacklist. The blacklist. America. This is the blacklist. The blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have won. one demand. You have soldiers in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops home. Your troops home. Now. 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 Or every, every week, week, we will attack, attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the blacklist. the blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The, the choice, choice is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. Okay. What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. 4th Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's distraught, Vic. One of Vic's men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. And Grimm's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support. Isaac Briggs. And Grimm is out. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. Fourth Echelon. Okay. We just got rid of Third Echelon after conviction, huh? 
It was too sullied. Did they change your voice actress too? I know they did. It's pretty sweet, right? First time in a plane? No. A deeper we with this engineer's organization? Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American Freedom, American Blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. Yeah, five days before American consumption? And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. Can't believe they changed Grimm's voice too. Oh man. Speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. Armory, infirmary, holding cell. Every resource that you'd have on the ground. We're fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Yo, Patrick, what up, dude? Problem breaks? Just got my subdermal radio put in. Feel like someone used a jackhammer. This puppy makes Air Force One look This is the final Splinter Cell game officially that was released. So this is Splinter Cell Blacklist. This was released back in 2014. Predictive analytics, photo and video for us. I've never played it before though. Elin systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? Yes, am I? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your opsat when you're on the ground. Impressive. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. This is like an in-between mission. It's going to let me explore, right? Yep. Paladin, which I'm assuming is the name of the uh, ship I'm on. You game on Steam? Oh, well, I, I'm playing this on Steam, actually, right now. Uh, Epic. Well, I did use the Epic Store for uh, Shedmu when it first came out, but it is available on Steam now. Played a couple of Splinter games way back in the day. Yeah, so I've, uh, I've actually been revisiting all of the games. Um... Uh, so this would be the sixth game in the franchise, because I did the first one. Second one is Pandora Tomorrow. Third one is Chaos Theory. Fourth one is Double Agent. Fifth one is Conviction. And now Blacklist. So I had never played Blacklist uh, when it came out. I flat out refused to play it, because the original voice actor was Sam Fisher. Uh, Michael Ironside, for this game, he was not in it. And it caused a big controversy. Because, you know, he'd he done the voice for five games straight. And for him to not be in this one, is just a massive disservice, I felt. So I just was like, you know what? This game's dead to me. Um, but, now that I've played, replayed, the other five games, it would only make sense for me to give this game a shot. You know, as much as it sucks to not hear Michael Ironside, uh, I figure, let me, let me give it a whirl. And see what happens. Cool, I'm going to check something out on there. Okay. Yeah, if you look, uh, I mean, I don't really play multiplayer games too often, but uh, if you look up Shinbojack on, on Steam, Shinbojack on Epic, same name across the board, so. Uh, let me see, customized gear. Each loadout is a custom set of gear. Unlock more loadout slots by upgrading your plane. Okay, so you can see Grim at the SMI for intel on the wiretapping up on a British seaport. While undetected, pull three more enemies from a ledge. Okay, so there's different loadouts. Talk to Grimm and upgrade the crew quarters to unlock extra loadout slots. Okay. Loadout A. So, I guess you could upgrade armor, stealth, weapon handling. My gun is the PX4 Storm 45 caliber. Assault rifle is the MP7A1. Stun gun, standard goggles. Noisemaker, grenade, smoke grenade, sticky cam. Okay, so you can upgrade stuff. Right now it looks like I have two hundred seventy thousand dollars. Uh okay. Do 
Use SMI. Flight deck here. Uh, we've hit some unexpected turbulence. We'll be climbing out of it as soon as we can. But in the meantime, it's going to be a rough ride. So yeah, this is... Uh, it's funny. Sam Fisher looks just like Commander Shepard. Like, it's... I didn't, I didn't even play uh, Mass Effect, but it, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Next blacklist attack, American consumption, 4 days, 10 hours. American freedom, American fuel, American blood, American dust. Alright, so there's Grim. I just want to say thank you to the 4 viewers who are watching. <coughs> Appreciate it. Or e satellite data bank XR three ninety three hundred. And look, there's my name, Spizerus Marks Shinbo Jack. I don't even know if the online for this is still active. I would doubt it. Top secret confidential. Seems like I could talk to these guys. Briggs, you settled in yet? I'm working on it. I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission. CIA's too big to move fast. Operation like this has got to be agile if it's going to work. Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. Oh, so there's dialogue trees here. Jeez. Briggs missions co-op. Two progress. Huh. Do I play RPGs at out at all? Uh, they're not really my bag, honestly. Um, I mean, really, the only RPGs I can say that I enjoyed were uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga on the Sega Saturn, um, River City Ransom on the NES, which is kind of a beat 'em up slash RPG. Um, I mean, I, I've tried in the past, you know, Fantasy Star, uh, uh, Shining Force, but yeah, they don't, they don't really call to me. It's not really, uh, a thing I actively look for, to be honest. I will buy you Yakuza Like a Dragon on Steam if you will play it. Uh, well, I've never played any of the Yakuza games, so I know that is the most recent one, I think, that came out here. So, uh, actually, what I wanted to do was, after this, I wanted to uh, give Yakuza a try. So, I, I think right now on Steam, I have Yakuza Kiwami 1, and I have Yakuza 0. I think those are the, uh, the two I have. I do know that they recently released the other ones on, on Steam, I think up to 5 or 6, right? Plus the Like a Dragon. Um, but I've never played Yakuza, so... Um, as nice as that gesture is, uh, I just haven't even played any of them yet, so... Um, and I do like to, with a franchise, to play uh, from the beginning, for sure. Yakuza yeah, is my favorite series of all time, and I think you would have a blast if you checked them out. Yeah, it's just uh, my whole thing initially before was to play Shenmue 3 was the priority. Um, and I know people tend to put them in the same pedestal, but from what I understand, they're very different. The only real similarity would be the, uh, at least in the first two games, maybe the the game on a visual level kind of looked like what a modern, at the time, Shinmu would look like. It has the mini games, has the arcades, the collecting, but uh, Yakuza is very much an action game, as opposed to Shinmu not being. Yakuza 0 is one of my favorite games of all time. Kiwami 1 and 2 are amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I always figured if I were to start, I should start with Kiwami 1. I would imagine starting off with 0 would probably not be good. Because anytime there's a prequel, uh, it always assumes you've played the previous ones to kind of get the full context. So, if anything, I would start with Kiwami 1. Beautiful thing about Yakuza, like a dragon, is you don't need to play the others to understand or enjoy the game. Zero first? See, I've been told conflicting things. There's a guy I know who is a 
diehard Yakuza fan, and he told me to do Kiwami 1. Because I think Zero apparently introduces, like, new gameplay mechanics, because it came out after Kiwami, or the first game. So, like, to go from Zero to 1 would then be, like, a downgrade, because you would then have less gameplay aspects or mechanics. I played Zero first, and I recommend it first. Because this guy has been telling me to play Yakuza for like three years. <laughs> so, I, I, I've received conflicting... People tell me zero, other people tell me one. I guess I'll reach that bridge when I get to it. Any update on that op you're working on? High priority and getting higher all the time, sir. Listening stations in Kashmir hang a lot of chatter about a cross-border smuggling operation. What are they moving that we should worry about? Word is, a nuke. We don't know the source, but if this is real... Then we gotta act on it. Yeah. The ring's based out of cargo, right on the Pakistani border. They own the local police. Then we won't ask the police for help. We'll go straight to the source. Well, I can't do co-op because I'm on my own. <clears throat> so I can't do that right now. Progress. Stats and completion. Single-player co-op stats. Playstyle Ghost. Single-player missions completed. 7.7%. Unlock 17.3. Intel keys found. Okay, so each mission has hidden items. Oh boy. High-value targets. Terrorists captured alive. Blacklist laptops. Computers hacked. Okay. Jeez. Ghost challenges stay undetected and non-lethal. shit, jeez. I don't even know where to begin with this stuff. It won't matter which one you play, Kiwami has a different engine. I think the engine is much better than the one you have in Yakuza 0. Okay. Hey, Max, ¿cómo estás, amigo? Espero que uh, le estás pasando bien. Que tengo un rato que no te oigo, pero espero que todo está bien, ¿eh? Yo ahorita estoy jugando el... Uh, Un juego de Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Y esta es la primera vez que lo estoy jugando, yo nunca lo he jugado. Uh, yo he jugado los otros juegos en la serie, pero este fue el único que yo no ha, hasta este momento no lo he jugado. Thank you for the six viewers who are watching, I appreciate it. I know I'm just babbling here, so thank you. Social feed, cell feed. Leaderboards, all right. Grim report, safe house, extract Andre Coben from Benghazi. Okay. Yeah, this is all weird. What is this? Challenges, Grim report. That's all for now. Looking forward to working with you, sir. Flight deck, lower holding cell, restricted area. Emergency exit. Okay. Paladin Global Fight Plan. Challenges. I do wonder if like, these things can't be alive still, because this game came out seven years ago. No way. Let me talk to Grim. Sam, I think Charlie's got some new gear he's working on.
Go look recon data concept art. Okay, so that's within the game. Search Paladin to find recon data and unlock new concept art from the Splinter Cell Blacklist development team. Look again after each campaign mission and after finishing all of Isaac Briggs' 4E missions. Okay. Okay, so President Caldwell is still around, which is why she was walking around earlier. So she's still president from conviction. Por supuesto, gracias por preguntar. Tus viejos como andan. Ahí pasándola, amigo. Aquí estamos encerrados y tratando de estar más uh, seguros, ¿eh? La gráfica está fantástica. Sí, este, jue este juego salió en 2014, ya tiene 7 años. Pero uh, lo estoy jugando en la computadora y te miras re bien, ¿eh? I will just send you Friday and you can do whatever you want with it. I was going to buy you a Yakuza game, but seeing as how you have three, I can do that later. Get some quality brew. Yeah, I will. Uh, well, thank you, dude. Patrick, I, I really do appreciate it. By the way, my best friend doesn't like RPGs and he loved Like a Dragon. Yeah, I, I tried not looking into it. I know it came out. Came out like what? A month or two ago? It's fairly recent, right? Um, but since I haven't played Yakuza, I didn't want to look into it. In the case, you know, there's potential spoilers and all that. Spies vs. Mercs. Artel. Particle Accelerator. Lebanese Hospital. Silo. Uranium Mine. Virus Vault. Okay. Light Wetsuit for Sam. Hub Gear. This is what he's wearing right now in the Paladin. Goggles. Driver is a drone. Oh, so you're going to be able to use drones here. SCIS pistol. SC400S. So in the old Splinter Cell game, it's the SC3000. So this is a uh, different version of it. Oh, SC4000, there it is. Okay, so this is an upgrade. Shotgun. Then the sniper rifle. Okay. Grim. Listen, Sam. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. History is history. That's it? Like you said, we've got a lot of work to do. Do you like other anime besides the Dragon Ball series? Are you still going to stream when COVID clears up and you go back to work? Uh, I mean... I can't say. Uh, I'd be lying if I knew what the future holds. I think no one really knows at this point. Um, but I mean, I usually work you know, during the morning, during the day. Um, it's just that when I was working, uh, because I would wake up earlier, I would, uh, you know, playing games would go to the go to the side. You know, the job was uh, more important. Uh, with with the lockdown, luckily, I'm able to work from home, so it allows me much more flexibility and you know not having to commute anywhere. So that's why I'm able to uh, stay up later. So. I can't really say. Uh, I mean, if anything, it would probably be Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, if anything. If I were to go back uh, to a physical, a physical location for my job. Uh, as far as anime, I haven't really seen anything new. Uh, I, I tend to really just stick to anime that I watched uh, 80s, 90s, early 2000s. I just find that most anime that I see or hear about Nowadays, is just, uh, on the whole, very flat-looking. It's because a lot of them use digital animation. So I'm, I'm much more of a fan of traditional uh, cell animation. Because I find that digital animation on the whole is just very flat. It's devoid of depth, shading. And that just really throws me out of the experience. So, I mean, I'm aware of anime. Like, you know, One Punch Man is, is one that I saw the first season of. I haven't seen the second season. 
Attack on Titan I saw the first season. Uh, but that's really it. Uh, Dragon Ball Super would probably be the, the most recent one that I saw. But anything else uh, hasn't really caught my attention. Priorities I would too. Yeah, you know, so just, just being realistic, you know. Uh, obviously the job and my uh, financial well-being comes first, <laughs> you know. Started watching an anime from the 80s called City Hunter. Yes, City Hunter is very good. Uh, City Hunter, uh, it was around the same era. Um, if you like City Hunter, you would like a movie called Wicked City. Uh, Wicked City is very gory, but it's so cool. Uh, it's I think it's early 90s. I'd like to say 91 or 1990. One Punch Man is great. Yeah, I only saw the first season. After the first season, I read the manga. Um, and I really liked it, but then I heard that, you know, obviously with the second season, it was a different animation studio, and I did hear that the, uh, or at least from what I saw, the animation quality really took a dip. One day I'll get around to it, though. Yo, Henry, what up, dude? Donde esta la biblioteca? Yo no sé, amigo. Player Paladin upgrade. So, okay, so you can upgrade the plane... Um, the cockpit for a thousand dollars. Sophisticated sensors track assets and hostiles during missions. Level one, unlock a radar shown in the HUD. Level two, extend radar range and show facing directions. Okay, Charlie's workshop. Holy smokes, hundred forty-four thousand dollars. Fuck. Upgrade Charlie's Workshop to gain access to custom-built prototype weapons. Level 1, unlock prototype SMG and shotgun for purchase. Level 2, unlock prototype pistol, assault, and sniper rifles for purchase. Command and Control, $9,000, $90,000. Enhanced data gathering capabilities to locate secondary objectives in the field. Reveal dead drop locations in the HUD. Reveal all secondary objectives from further away. Infirmary. $120,000. Upgrade medical facilities to keep Sam and Briggs performing at peak. Level 1. Faster regenerate. Okay, so this has regeneration. Faster regeneration in single player co-op. Level 2. Even faster regeneration. Crew quarters. $84,000. Improve crew facilities to give Sam and Briggs more gear options when starting a mission. So, Patrick, this is very RPG-like here. It's kind of like leveling up. I didn't, I didn't know that this had RPG-like elements. Level 1, unlock a custom loadout slot for single player. Level 2, unlock another custom slot. Okay. Cargo buoy. 78 grand. Improved cargo facilities. So, 4th Echelon can provide more extensive equipment drops. Level 1, customized gear in the field. Alright, got that. And now the next level is 130 grand. Jesus Christ, how do you go from one to the other? I thought the librarian would know where the library is. Yo no sé, amigo. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Have you seen Fist of the North Star? Yes, I have. Uh, the original uh, show from, I'd like to say, 1983, 1984. And then the movie, which was 86, 87, I'd like to say. Very good stuff. Very, very long show, but I thought it was really cool. Kenshiro is one of the most OP protagonists of all time. He's almost like Jesus. Yes, he is. Jesus with a beard. I think I saw Wicked City a long time ago. Yes, Wicked City is very cool. You had Taco Bell earlier? Nice. I haven't had Taco Bell in like over a year. It's been a long time. Which I, I will say that the pandemic has been very good for me not caving into junk food. So that has helped. How long am I streaming until? Uh, I don't know. It's two o'clock now. I think I'm just going to check out this whole paladin thing. And once it drops me into an actual mission, I'll just stop there. 
because uh, if I do a mission, the mission will take, you know, hour and a half or so. So I'd rather not uh, do that. Ninety thousand dollars, hundred twenty. Very cool. So that'll give me secondary objectives. So that's cool. Upgrading headquarters. Okay. some new gear he's working on. Grim? I still gotta talk to her. Sam, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. His trees, his Two questions. Do you own Puss of the North Star? Are you a quality snob, meaning you will watch DVD still? I prefer Blu-rays. That's why I'm asking. Um, I do have the first movie on DVD. I know they released it on Blu-ray about a year ago, but I never did upgrade. But I do have it on DVD, yes. Uh, not the not the show though, but uh, I do need to uh, get that eventually. It actually for the, for DVD it was a really good transfer. ¿Te acuerdas de Grand Theft Auto 3? Oh yeah, Max. Um, realmente el, el Grand Theft Auto el uh, número 3 está bueno, pero el, mi favorito es el, el Vice City. Número 4, 5, San Andreas, no me, no me cayeron bien. Realmente no. No tengo interés en el Grand Theft Auto afuera del Vice City 3. No hay Grim Missions. I've been tracking the engineers' online presence. 60% of their traffic passed through one choke point, a privately owned offshore data hub. Can we tap it virtually? They're too good for that. We need to do it the hard way and do it clean. What's the site? Just off the English coast, it's a converted sea fort. The guy who owns it is making millions hosting this kind of stuff. So we go in, plan to trace, get out. Without being spotted, or his people will wipe everything. Okay, so these are side missions, I guess. Um, so I guess this game is... Let you choose, it's not linear. It was again, very different for Splinter Cell. <clears throat> so I'm not really used to that structure. I have the series on DVD. How was it? Oh no! Don't don't worry, uh, Junker, because I I think it's available on Amazon Prime, if I'm not mistaken. I remember hearing that it's on there. I'm buying. Yeah, I was gonna buy it on Blue too because I know that uh, I think it's Sentai Filmworks who has the license, and they uh, even though it's on Blu-ray, keep in mind the Blu-ray of the show. It's literally just DVDs on Blu-ray. They didn't increase the quality of the video. They they just allowed it so they could they can cram more episodes onto a Blu-ray disc. Um, so I'll eventually get it on on Blu-ray as well, since I don't have it on DVD. But I mean, again, I can't tell you what to do, what not to do. But uh, it would be an extremely kind gesture of you. But I mean, if you can make some money selling it, I'd, I'd definitely tell you to do that. Because again, Pistol North Star is always in demand. It would be my pleasure. I have OCD, so the series is in mint shape. Ah, okay. It would be my pleasure. I am sending Mike from Six City Universe a bunch of stuff soon. Okay, awesome. Don't feel bad about me sending it either. I haven't watched it in years. Or is it Discotech? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It is Discotech. It's not Sentai Filmworks. You're right. But yes, if I'm not mistaken, I know whether when they release the show on Blu-ray... It's literally, it even says on the top, it just says it's it's DVD quality, but in Blu-ray. So like, for example, like on DVD, they could probably fit, I don't know, six or seven episodes per disc for the sake of compression and keeping the video quality good. And then Blu-ray, because of the obviously upgraded space, they can probably cram 20 to 30 episodes per disc. Yeah, I'll shoot you my address later on, Patrick. Well, thank you. That's uh, extremely kind of you, though, dude. Um, you know, the least I can do is give you a shout-out, you know, online uh, for your 
uh, for your kind gesture. Thank you. I, I really do appreciate it, though, man. This Fist of the North Star is great. It's it's just a shame that even even when they release it on DVD and Blu-ray, it's it's still censored, you know, uh, because it was censored even in Japan. So, at least the more violent uh, aspects of it. Keep me posted. Something just came in from a contact in Benghazi. I'll follow up with you later. So it's funny because when I hear this Sam Fisher talk, I know it's a different voice actor, Eric Johnson, but in my head, I'm processing it as Michael Ironside. Because Michael's the man. Michael is a, he's a legend. So yeah, you can just freely explore the, the plane, I guess, is the idea here. That's so weird, like a semi-open world splinter cell. I'm assuming these are probably holding cells for uh, persons of interest that you get later on. Pretty crummy uh, accommodations, if you ask me. And the newspapers in French. Obviously, it's Ubisoft Montreal, so yeah, it would be French. Okay, I'm assuming this is like a, a jail cell for enemies. I should be able to send it out Friday. I would be honored for the shout out. Yeah, no, no rush, dude. No rush. The the gesture is more than enough. Thank you, though. I don't believe the version I have is censored, but I could totally. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all American versions are censored because uh, when there's like a a head exploding, the uh, the image will like change to like purple or orange or some weird color to uh, to drastically change the. Uh, because I think even the prints in Japan were altered just because it was considered too gory. So, like, even in America, it would, it would happen like that. Set up almost complete, Charlie. Yeah, hang on. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, Sam. We're uh, pretty much good to go here. Just got to overclock a couple of components and then see if my supply rack gets approved by Her Majesty. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Pretty tricked out workshop, huh? I'll be able to upgrade and repair most of our equipment, and if we've got enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods for your gear. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Hey, you need anything right now? Yeah. Might want to look into a helmet. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Get a helmet, dummy. I love Michael Ironside. I've never seen a movie with him that I didn't enjoy. He's an unsung hero of Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, I mean, aside from being the voice of, of Sam Fisher, not in this game, unfortunately, but again, in my head, I'm still hearing it as Michael Ironside. I was into the voice of Darkseid, the, uh, you know, the DC animated, um, Total Recall, Starship Troopers, so many other, uh, so many other roles. Scanners, I mean... He's done it all. He's, his resume is uh, insanely impressive, to say the least. Had no idea it was a sent. Yeah, ch check, check it. I mean, I'm pretty sure even the uh, the uh, I keep thinking Sentai. What did what did you say it was? Uh, Discotech. I think it's a it's an issue with the masters. The masters are based on the masters that were in Japan. Are based on the censored ones so like basically anytime you see a severed limb or a head ex usually when the head explodes uh, for like a f couple frames the screen will turn purple or orange or green or blue um, it was just a way to censor it somewhat kind of like when people are watching porn 
and you'll see mosaics in Japan to cover genitals and stuff like that. It's like their way of censoring the more extreme things, for whatever reason. Not to go into a porn tangent, but that's like the only thing I can think of. Un abrazo enorme. Nos vemos mañana. Saludos y bendiciones. Igual, igual, Max. Espero que bueno que estás bien. Con sin novedad, con salud. Y uh, con cuidado, amigo, ¿ok? I need to check out scanners. Is it a criterion release? I. That's a good question. Uh, it's a David Cronenberg film. So possibly, if it's not criterion, it's definitely. Uh, what is it? The uh, Shout Factory. It's either one of the two. It's probably Criterion, though, because it is David Cronenberg. What are you working on besides annoying Grimm? <laughs> Anything I could find on our friends. I got my peeps skimming what they can. What could they find that the SMI can? I don't know, but we're going to find out. One of my buddies is a Pakistani expat living in Yemen. He dead dropped something for me at the embassy there. Dead drop, so what, he doesn't trust electronic channels? Mm, not with stuff this hot. Last I heard from him, people were coming after him. Tell me you trust this guy enough to send me in there? Yeah, yeah, I do. Then let's go get it. All right, so yeah, it is open world that allows me to, to do this stuff. Customize gear. Okay, so I don't really have anything to upgrade at this point. There was another series in the DVD set. I believe it was the sequel to the first series. I didn't watch it because it was, it was so long. I needed a palate cleanser after getting through the series. Um, there, Man, I could be wrong. I know, I know there was a reboot of sorts uh, in the mid-2000s. It came out. Around the same time as Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust, Bloodlust, which was 2003, 2004. Um, and I, I had a DVD or two of it. I probably still do somewhere. It's in a box. But uh, that one was okay. But it was around that time where animation was going digital. And like I said, it just wasn't the same. It didn't have that grittiness of the, uh, that rough around the edges look of the original, which I think lends a big part of its charm. Nice work, Charlie. Thanks. These are my quarters here. We got grenades, a whole bunch of grenades, rag grenades. Assuming EMP grenades, flashbangs. Customized gear. There's my suit. Pistols and rifles. It was just so weird going through like an open worldish splitter cell. <clears throat> very, very weird. I don't know what to think of it. Because every other splitter cell up to this point has always been super linear, and now it's not. Hey, Sam. I'm assuming SMI is my uh, mission. Who can I call Sarah? I can call Sarah. Oh, shit. By the way, Sega made a Fist of North Star game in the same vein as Yakuza a couple years ago. I own it, but I haven't played it yet. No shit. I know that there was the Dynasty Warriors clone. I think it was a Dynasty Warriors game with Fist of North Star. Um, 
Then there was a fighting, a couple fighting games, and obviously the uh, the NES version. I think there was one on PC Engine as well. Oh, right, yeah, let me call Sarah. See what she's up to. Hi, sweetheart. It's me. Dad, hi. How are you? I saw the news in the Blacklist video, and it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing, but... Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic... It's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. But he's gonna be alright. Tell me he's gonna be alright. Well, you know, he's tough. And they're gonna take good care. That's not an answer, Dad. Where is he? Walter Reed, I can be there in an hour. Look, you don't have to do anything. He's on a medvac plane to land still. Charlie's keeping tabs on him for me. As soon as you hear something, anything you let me know, okay? You hear me, Dad? Yeah, I will. Right now, I, uh, I gotta go. Of course you do. Just let me know you're alive once in a while, all right? <laughs> I will. I love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo. I love you too, kiddo. I'm just trying to hear this in, in Ironside's voice, because it's just... Contact Sarah after each mission to keep in touch with her and Vic. Does the uh, call replay? Is it the same one? Or does it change? Hi, you've reached the voicemail uh, Sarah Fisher. Leave a message after the tone and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks. Does it do it again? I would, I would assume it does. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Sarah Fisher. Leave a message after the tone and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks. Do I have the Criterion release of the Godzilla set? Absolutely. Got that day one, my man. I could never say no to Godzilla. Is it worth the money? Uh, I mean, you're asking someone whose lifelong obsession has been Godzilla, so that's very hard to say. Um, I will say that it is the only way right now, in America at least, outside of Japan, to get the entire Showa series, uh, which is from the first Godzilla in 1954 to Terra of America's Godzilla, which was in 1973, I believe, 1974. So it is the only way to get all of those films, which I believe are 15 films, um, in HD, in high def Blu-ray. Uh, as well as it's the only way in America, officially, legally, to be able to watch the uh, Japanese version of uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Up until this point, it had only ever been the English dub because it was an issue with Universal. It was a, li a rights uh, license issue. So Criterion was able to get uh, the Japanese dub. So again, for fans, mega fans like myself, it's a huge deal. This is about Bruce Lee's greatest hits on Criterion, and it included Game of Death. I was beside myself when I saw that. That movie is a train wreck. Uh, well, not just that. It has the... Well, yeah. I mean, if you never saw Game of Death, yeah. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of backstory behind why that movie's so terrible. Obviously, Bruce Lee was only able to film, like, you know, 30% of it. And then he died. So, uh... But the interesting thing about that Criterion set... I don't have it yet. But I do know that uh, it does include the producer's cut, a brand new cut of Game of Death. I believe it's in the bonus features disc. Um, with some newly restored footage. So it's a pretty big deal. I believe it's called Fist of the North Star Dark Paradise. You can unlock a Kiryu costume. Kiryu is the main character in Yakuza, correct? Please tell me if I'm typing too much or my message is too long. I'm on Adderall right now. Don't worry. Uh, it's all good, dude. I'm, I'm not in a mission right now, so it's totally cool. It's, it's totally cool to catch up. I will pick it up down the road. I saw it at Barnes & Noble, and they were charging me double the price. Yeah, well, Barnes & Noble, uh, what you want to do with them is they normally have a yearly Criterion sale. I believe it's in August or July. And all Criterion titles are 50% off. So what happened is when the Godzilla set came out, I think the MSRP was 180 but then on the Criterion sale, it was uh, it dropped down to like 100 or 110. And then Amazon price matched it for a couple days. So I got it on Amazon. So yeah, I don't know if it's called Producer's Cut, but I know it's a new cut that was exclusive to the Criterion set. So you definitely check it out. 
Yeah, I mean, right now I'm just shooting the shit. I'm just exploring. Because again, I'm not used to Splinter Cell allowing that. No smoking. It's against the law to smoke on this aircraft. You know what? It's actually interesting because these phones are no longer Nokia or Sony Ericsson or where's the product placement? You know, Splinter Cell always has product placement. Fasten seat belts. Here's the med bay. Supersized bandages. Malaria. Cret oil. Pain away. Super strength. Dangerous goods, hazard and handling labels, hazard and handling labels. Anatomical chart. Warning, in case of danger or leakage, notify authorized personnel immediately. Eye wash. Vision test. I don't know, I like to observe these things in games. It's just kind of pushing the buttons for the developers. Like, how much attention to detail do they put? in these games. Now what is this area? Kind of, it's weird seeing a modern splinter cell. We even have, we even have lens flare. We have this fucking Michael Bay shit going on here. Emergency manual gear extension to deploy MGE. Pull handle down full stroke. Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming later on I could take this chopper to do something. What exactly? I don't know what. Can I climb this ladder? Yes, I can. I can climb the ladder, but there's nothing I can do here. Okay. I was just exploring because that's what I like to do. Is Paul working? I remember he was working at the dynamite plant a while back. He didn't like it. Um, it's a good question. I don't know. Uh, he's uh, gone off offline, so I guess would be as good as mine. So, honestly, couldn't tell you. <laughs> that's what he does, though. So you know, it is what it is. All right. Well, I think uh, I think that'll be it for me tonight. Cause that's uh, I'm assuming once I hit this console, I'll uh, activate the mission. So hopefully the game saved. It's interesting how you can't. There's no main menu. That's so weird. Hopefully it saved. That would really suck. If uh, I have to redo some of that, <laughs> that'd be really bad. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I'm just just wrapping up here. You know, that was uh, I've been on for a little over an hour. If if I went longer, the problem is I I'd be up until four in the morning, and I'd rather not do that. But because I have four viewers, let's uh, let me see who I can raid. It's all about paying it forward, right? And seeing, uh, about bringing it back. So let me see who's online right now. Uh, 
actually, uh, looks like Three Bears Gaming is up, and they're doing five games under five bucks. So, let me check out if they're still online, because I know he was still playing, um, even before I went live. So, yeah, he's still going. So, yeah, uh, Three Bears will go ahead and raid Three Bears Gaming. Very, very cool guy. A uh, very cool bunch of community. Uh, one of the first people I got to meet on Twitch. And uh, they've been nothing but accommodating and kind. So, we'll definitely give them a raid. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to uh, you, Patrick Junkerseed. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, X, thank you so much. Henry FGG, thank you. Um, anybody who was lurking, appreciate it. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm starting off Splinter Cell Blacklist, and I'm just going to go slow, because apparently now there's optional objectives, and this is something that this is new uh, for Splinter Cell. So I do want to try to get as many side objectives done as possible, and I also want to uh, do non-lethal. I don't want to kill people if I don't have to. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, uh, let me go ahead and raid Three Bears Gaming. Because they are cool people. So if anyone is hanging on, we'll uh, hop onto that channel. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. It's always nice to see some new faces. Thank you. And, excuse me, if I don't continue for this week, I hope you have a good rest of your week. And a wonderful weekend. So thank you so much. And Patrick, I will get back to you on uh, Facebook Messenger. So uh, thank you so much. Have a good night and take care. Good night.